So, uh, I just realized that Thursday is Thanksgiving. And my new schedule says that I'm supposed to broadcast on Thursday. But it's Thanksgiving and I can't. So, to make it up to everybody so that they don't go without any content, uh, I'm going to do another broadcast tonight. I've got a hard stop at 7 o'clock, which is in about three hours. So, we've got a good three hours worth of Fallout 76 to get through, which is great because we can continue with uh, exploring the bunkers uh, that were owned by the... F whatever, whatever the faction is. I, for I forget their name. The Free States. So, I guess that means no Thursday stream... Thanksgiving, but I, I'll still try to do scotch and smoke rings that night because I think by then all my company will have left, but no promises. So follow me on Twitter. I'll make announcements there if I have to end the stream. But anyway, glad to have you guys here. Let's dig right in. Okay. Reject my microphone. Now, when we ended our broadcast about an hour or so, ago, or maybe it's two hours ago, we had uh, just finished repairing all of the scorched detectors out there, and we must now return to Abby's bunker. Nuka Cola. Oh, come on. What? I'm in the middle of doing this quest, and you're going to make me hack this terminal again? All right. Temporal Shrimp says, Ox about 76 and it's all your fault. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself. <laughs> B-I-T-S, B-I-T-S, B-I-T-S. There we go. Remote, remote door control. Right. Inside we go. Eric says, have you ever done the videos for Yes Man? I was looking for it, but I couldn't find it. Hold on. You'll need to install the program called Armory Access on the main entrance terminal to get inside. Once it's been uploaded and installed, I've got another recording set up for you, so make sure you're safe enough to hear it. We fled from Harper's after a Scorch Beast attack, so who knows what lives there now. Be careful. Finally, I get to explore Harper's Ferry! Good, I've been waiting to go there. Uh, in, term, uh, in regards to your question, no, I have not done the Yes Man story yet. I have the footage captured, and I may be doing it soon. Master Holotape. Now we need to go to Harper's Ferry. Let's see what the Master Holotape says out there. Scrolling down. Man, I've got a lot of holotapes now. Master's Holotape. Whoops, try again. Should further instructions be necessary, please use Abby's terminal and select the scorched detectors. Initi initiate program file scan, retrying, and it'll do it. Should it further instructions be necessary, please use Abby's terminal and select the scorched detectors. What is this? Discarded introduction. I already, I already listened to both of those. Uh, let's see. Was there anything else in her workstation? Nope, this is already where I was. Ah, but now I can read this. Rally was working with my dad on the programming behind networking several systems together to route all of the scorched detector data through. 
Along with the detectors, they wanted to plug in and utilize security and surveillance systems. Unfortunately, all of this data was in the Harper's Ferry Armory. We didn't really have time to get it during the scorched outbreak while we were running for our lives. But we hope it's intended to go back. So we're going to Harper's Ferry to access the armory. And we can now read this. To get this entire system up, up and running, we need to be able to route this, this information through the proper channels. I've got the skills, but I wouldn't say I've got the skills to hack into government satellites, if you know what I mean. Sam Blackwell was a U.S. Senator who gave the government the finger and officially joined us. All we need are his access codes, but they're on lockdown at his old office in the Charleston Capitol building. Okay, looks like we're going to Charleston again in the near future. Let's go uh, to Harper's Ferry first and get into that armory. Andrews has been waiting for you to go to Harper's Ferry. Woohoo! Thanks, mate. Let's check it out. Okay, let's see. Where's Har There we go. Oh, so that was the town we saw. Ah. Well, I'm glad I found a big bee's rest stop. Get ready to fight some super mutants. You leveled up. Did I level up? Oh, I did level up. Oh, okay. Let's uh let's level our character here. Hide. Hide. Crouch. There we go. <laughs> I know there's bad guys there, so let's hide for a minute. Okay, let's level this character. You have an unopened perk pack. Would you like to open it? Yes, I would. What'd we get? Pharmacist, through hiker, and thumb. Goat legs. <laughs> Alright. Now, uh, let's see. Where should I put my point? I should probably put my point. Well, first of all, let's see. What do I want at level? 45. Master Shotgunner. So that's strength, but I already have all the points and strength necessary I need. So let's put this final point into... Uh, in agility. And then we'll, instead of choosing an agility card, let's choose Master Shotgun. There it is. Okay, let's get rid of... Uh, Alright, now what can I put into agility? Uh, food and drink weight is reduced by 30? Yeah, I'll take... Oh, I've already got that. Okay, let's do moving target. <laughs> oh, we got some vertebra vertebots here. Well, let's get this by and head to Harper Square. Can you use the lever action now? I can. Oh, but I left it at my camp. <laughs> I just conked him with the butt of my sword here. You know what? I don't want to waste any more ammo. Ammo is precious, and I already exhausted most of my resources by crafting the ammo that I have. So I'll leave the super mutants to the front of us for now. And instead, we'll head north on this uh, south of us. Well, actually, we're going to Yeah, we need to head 
No, I am heading the right way because this loops up. Just head south and then loop up to go to Harvard Square. Random encounter. Okay, we'll have to go to the General Steakhouse. But not until we go to Harper's. That's the best way to get there. Let's take the road. Topia says, after all this free state stuff, can you start the Enclave's quest? There's X1 power armor involved. Um, well, what I'm going to do now is follow the main quest. And the main quest does take us to the White Spring Resort. And uh, I believe we discover the Enclave. So uh, I, I, will, I will be going that way, but I'm going to do it in the order of the quest. I explored the world for a while, which was a whole lot of fun. I enjoyed having that freedom. But uh, I also discovered that... I, I found locations before I was meant to. And I want to avoid it ruining my gameplay later on. So I'm just gonna follow the main quest for right now. Chad says, now made with 96% beef. Yeah, I know. I'm uh, worried about that other 4%. <laughs> it looks like the main road into town is this way. So let's go the main way. Okay, the quest wants me to go down south. Let's instead go clockwise around the town to explore the whole thing first. A bit of a bug here. Lydia's journal, page one. Dad told us we are going to be leaving the bunker to try and make it make a go at it over at Harper's Ferry. Rally seems to think it's a good idea, and maybe it is. Maybe I'm being selfish. Maybe I just want to stay safe behind a locked door with all of our supplies. Maybe I really don't care to share what we've made here. I don't know. I know there are survivors that need our help, but these are also the people that ridiculed us every step of the way. Rally especially, so why out of all of us is he willing to help and i'm here saying i don't care yeah well we we found rally's holotape in his bunker and he struggled with that one but i think he may have been trying to do the right thing sadly it looks like that right thing got he and his entire family killed is there a front door to this house that we can go in No, board it up. That was 637. This is 635. Let's see if we can go around back. Oxhorn, you need a drink? Yeah, I do. Uh, I'll drink here in a bit. Maybe when I feel less in danger. So nothing around that shack. Now we do have a bit of a staircase leading up here. Let's see what this is. So this is going to go out to the rocks above. 
Okay, good view of Harper's Ferry. Alright, that leads back up to the road, I'm thinking. It does. And then that leads further into town. Uh, instead, let's take this down. Subox just joined, says Godzilla and Dinos. Glad to have you on the program. We'll be doing this for a few more hours. So, nice, nice live stream today. Uh, okay. Hello. Uh. Oh, they run. They like to run. Where'd you go? Let's hop down and continue along the street. Getting a ton of assault rifle ammunition now. I guess that's a message. I probably should switch weapons. <laughs> okay. Investigate Harper's Ferry. So there, okay, I just got a miscellaneous quest. That's the one I'm on, but I now need to investigate Harper's Ferry as well. As long as I don't get swarmed by a swarm of swarming zealots, I'll be okay. Brandon Ray, uh, Rapp says, Hey, Oxhorn, I'm a fellow Seattle dweller, and I love the show. I enjoy playing Fallout 76 and watching you as well. Thanks for the great content. <coughs> what? Oh. <coughs> Bug. <coughs> Bug. <coughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching. Yes. I'm not going to bother with the combat rifle anymore because I feel like I'm going to be upgrading it soon to a lever action rifle. Washington Street. Uh oh, I hear music playing. Uh, let's see if I can find where this radio is coming from. And it seems to be getting louder over here. Let's head into this house and see if we can find it really quickly, otherwise I'm going to have to turn off the sound. Uh, or let's just continue around the perimeter. No, it's actually getting louder over here. What could be making this music sound that's going to demonetize me? It's not like it's behind the building. Let's go around this side. And it's gone. Okay, well, I have no idea where that radio was coming from, but that was frustrating. I guess we're on the northern side of the town. There's a train station over there. Gnomes on the porch out here. That's about it. And this, I believe, was probably left by one of the Brotherhood. And there's a train going all the way. Let's check out the train in a bit. But first, let's clear the town. That's right. I have to be crouched to get my sneak bonus. Hold on, relighting. Oh, there it is again. Okay, hold on, hold on, I'm sorry. But I can't, uh, I can't uh, risk it. Yeah, 
There, I turned down audio a little bit until I can find this thing. It's not all the way off, but it should be enough to keep me from being demonetized until I find this, find this doggone blasted radio. My luck, it's going to be on the top floor of one of these buildings. Yeah, I hope you can still hear it. And we can't get up there from here, can we? But it looks like there is a top floor up there. I wonder how we would get up there. Uh, Michael says, feels like BGS is going supernatural with the lore now, with the scorched beasts and the cryptid animals, because I don't know why everything is so mutated in such short time after 25 years. Yeah, but to be fair, the way rate nuclear power and nuclear material and radiation is depicted in the Fallout universe has always been a bit, you know, fanciful. I mean, even in Fallout 1... Uh, they had, uh, they initially had plans to have this. Wow, I can't. <laughs> what? Come on, man. <laughs> I just want to shoot this guy in the head. Can I shoot this guy in the head? In the back? Finally. Okay. There we go. Even in Fallout 1, they had plans to create this, this race called the Last Seer or something, which was like a badger people, an intelligent badger people, mutated by the radiation. That was eventually scrapped uh, because they thought it was too outla outlandish. Independence is not a crime. Yep, the free states were here. Uh, but they still went with things like centaurs, right, which were horribly mutated amalgams of animals and dogs and men. And then you've got the Psykers, which had telekinetic abilities. All of that has been in the Fallout franchise since the very beginning. Uh, and, and, of course, ghouls don't work this way. And, you know, it's, it's all kind of had that fanciful element to it. So I don't think anything we find in Fallout 76 is any more far-fetched than what we find in some of the other games. Um, so, yeah, it's far-fetched, but it's part of the franchise. All right, I'm going to risk turning the music back up uh, because I think I'm far enough away from whatever was making that sound. Yeah. Trading post. They had a trading post? Save yourself, war is coming. So the the free states were really kind of evangelizing their beliefs before the war, weren't they? Psycho, right away. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's up, uh, yeah, up there. So we're in one of the alleyways here. Hey, vendor bot! Freedom means freedom not. Nah controlled by some central authority. Well, thank you, Vinderbot. What you got? Yes. Yes. Man. They don't give me a good value for my junk at all. What about for my aid? Can I sell some of the chems I don't need? These are value of three. That's a value of four. It's only one more. Stealth boy, I don't need that. All right, let's eat and drink while we're here. Carrot soup, carrot flour, nectar, um, yip fruit juice, roasted Marilurk meat. Do I have any more meat or is all my meat done? Glowing meat steak. You cool. think federal regulations keep you safe, but all it does is see 
power to pure Ocrats. Allison. Man, these guys are sounding like libertarians. I love it. <laughs> Allison. I wonder who Allison was or if it was just graffiti. that noise Raider corpse with gunpowder I'll take it scrap our items all right and then our quest marker is sending us in here so let's head inside and see what we get oh trip wire connected to shotgun I wonder if it was on a delay. Clipboard for springs. Sweet. Recipe. Cranberry jam. Don't think I have that yet. Looks like some of the scorched are respawning. Okay, so it's on the other side there. Well, I don't want to go that way. But we can go upstairs. And it's getting louder. Where is that radio? Is it upstairs? I'm, I'm. All right, I'm talking over it, talking over it, talking over the radio. I see a police on the uniform and, uh. Oh, vault dweller, hold on. Let's turn that volume down again. One second, if we turn the volume down again. There we go. Vault dweller. What vault? Can you see what vault? Looks like it doesn't say it, but she died recently. Let's see if it's worth it. Nope, not worth it. So nothing else up here. We gotta go down. All right, we need to find our, cell, uh, our way to the other side of that barricade. Uh, and that may take us out here. Let's go around for that. Hey, Mr. Fallout Productions with a tip. Thank you very much, much Mr. Fallout Productions. Okay, how did I get up here? Ah, this way. No, and that's blocked off. Wow. They just are forcing me to walk straight into town. But I don't want to. I want to go around. <laughs> I want to go around. Okay, well, it looks like one is back here anyway. Let's see if we can find the one back here. And let's turn the audio back up for the sake of the stream. There we go. All right, what we got? We got a bunch of vases on display. Like this is some sort of museum. This train just bla blasted right into the museum. Anything on display here? I am hearing some sort of machinery. Do you hear that? Nothing in the cases. Is it out here? What? What the heck? Okay, it's right there. I can't go down from there. Ah, I can't get up. Let's go around. We can get up this way. Recipes, carrot flower tea. I think I have that. Oh, it's one of these things. Oh, it's like a okay, 
Okay, let's see what's at the top. Hello. What have we here? Lydia's journal, page 12. Today was a big day. Just not sure in the good or bad sense. We met up with all the survivors, and there really weren't as many as I thought there'd be. And some of them were really, really roughed up. It's obvious they have a lot of bene uh, to benefit from us. Natalie said we get to learn how to survive in this new world, and holy crap, is it different? The entire forest has turned into this swampy mess. There are these red vines all over the place. Creatures I've never seen before in my life. It's all gross and disgusting. And Harper's Ferry? This place is a wreck. I'm not even sure how the survivors survived this long. Mike says, sitting here with the wife, relaxing, enjoying your great video. Keep it up. Well, thank you. I'm so glad that I can be part of your evening. Damn it, Sam says, I love that they added in creatures that are in Appalachian folklore, like the Mothman. Makes me wonder if the Jersey Devil will make an appearance in a later game. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, what's this? Just a corpse. We could take his skull. Man, that's dark. Um... Take the gunpowder. I don't need that. Looks like this is a dead end. Let's explore downstairs for the sake of completeness. This goes outside. And that's completely wrecked up. Can't get down there. Okay. So back to that alleyway. Back to that alleyway to loot whatever it is we need. To complete the miscellaneous quest. I hear another. Okay, we got a button. Should we push the big red button? Ooh, it's a gate. Okay, let's see what's on this terminal. Uh, if you want a better... Hold on, a uh, comma just flew off the screen. If you want a better but still effective DMR to replace the combat rifle, I recommend the AK-47 if you can get one. It's like the combat rifle, but better. Thanks, I'll keep my eyes open. Steven says, hey, I just wanted to say keep up the good work. Love the videos, man. Can't wait for the lore videos that'll come out of 76. I'm winding down my birthday planning playing 76 and watching your streams. Keep it up. Well, happy birthday to you. East Gate Terminal. Please read the latest missing persons alert. Keep an eye on any Moss Town traders near Kim's. Missing persons. The following is, is a list of all reported missing people from Harper's Ferry. Please see Eddie Hayes or for search party organization. Missing Hunter's Party. Duncan McCann's hunting party is officially missing. Their last communication stated that they were heading north of from Valley Galleria, tracking a path of ghouls. The area should be avoided until a proper search party can be formed. If you can volunteer, please contact Eddie Hayes. Missing members are, we've got Duncan, Kendall, Randy, Terrence, Annie, Jacqueline, Courtney, Jackson, Oak Hill says, hey, Oxhorn just joined in. Have you done the Sons of Dane 
event quest yet? I just did it, and so far it's the most fun I've had in 76. Hope you're doing well and having a great Thanksgiving. We explored the Sons of Dane, but the event wasn't up when I went there. Um, I'll check it out late, later. Esmer Rivers has been missing for two days now. If anyone has any idea of her whereabouts or has any information whatsoever, please let Eddie Hayes know. Tess and Frank Hopner. Hey, everyone, sit here. My grandparents have gone missing. We just woke up and they were gone without a trace. I think my grandma's wearing her old blue dress and my grandpa's in that same old suit he never took off. Far as I know, they ain't got no guns or any way to defend themselves. If anyone's willing to help me look, please let me or Eddie know before the end of the day. And finally, Vegas. I don't know if this is the right forum for this, but if people can keep an eye out for my dog, Vegas, my sister and I would greatly appreciate it. He's a black and white border collie, super friendly, even has some finds... Even if someone finds him, to just let us know he's passed on, we'd be grateful. Donnie. Patrol schedule. Shifts are slim today, but we got a lot of people missing out there. North, Eddie and Jed. South, Larry and Miranda. East, Carly and Scott. West, Lonnie and Charlie. So, tracking unknowns. Investigate the area north of Valley Galleria. Forum. General forums because you asked. Be nice, be appropriate, or be gone. Don't make me put a password on this. Duncan's hunting party. Quade Shelton says, Are you guys saying our best shots with a gun are out there missing? If they can't survive out in that damn swamp, how the hell are we supposed to make it without them? I hope to heaven and back that we ain't grafting a search party, because I sure as hell won't be on it. Terry Lee replied, not to mention the loss of Hardball. Losing a Mr. Gutsy ain't no small potatoes. Hoping they aren't really lost, just sticking it out for a safe moment to strike home. So we're missing a Mr. Gutsy named Hardball as well. Be Becca Mason replied, thanks for making us all feel warm and fuzzy inside, Quaid. Also, good to know you'd never have my back if it was my ass out there. Quaid Sh Shelton replied, abso freaking lootly A robot like that is better off protecting us folks here at Harper's not running around in that damn swamp. So quest started. Tracking unknowns. Discover the fate of the missing hunter party. Now, did that remove the other one? It did. So it looks like we could have gotten that quest from... One of three terminals. It removed the other terminals from our map. But it means that there are three other terminals here that we need to explore. So before we head out... Oh, big lag spike. Before we head out on a big hunting party, let's go back in and finish exploring Harper's Ferry. Let's see, is there anything up here? Looks like they tried to fortify themselves well. Can't fault them for not trying. Oh. And am I stuck? Can I knock it up here? And that's another gate out. Are you? In the back? It doesn't look that way. I do find a there. Sorry, buddy. Okay, it looks like we need to go back onto the main street. Grievous Reborn says, I think I found where the super mutants came from in West Virginia. I found West Tech building that have huge vats of green stuff that I think is FEV. Yeah, um, we haven't been to West Tech, Tech yet, but Huntersville told us that that's exactly what happened. Uh, I did that in yesterday, or not yesterday, but the day before yesterday's video. We've got a door here. Oh, what is this? Voter services terminal. Oh, so there was a vote going on here. Does this have all the same content as all the other ones? Yep. And there are the voting machines. And... Okay, so the vote was going on here as well. And this puts us outside. Okay, well, we need to get back inside. This is a bit of a maze, this place. Looks like to get to the main street, we gotta wind through this labyrinth again. Nope, 
that leads back outside. So we need to go up. This will allow us to jump down. No, that just puts us back out here. Well, let's head this way. We may just have to wade out into the street. this we've got a building here and now that sound is really coming in strong let's see we already explored this can we go upstairs any further we can oh that's the vault dweller we found okay with this corpse of just a corpse here and a stim pack right i'll have to remember that for when i do a video on it and then uh, i think i triggered that so let's go back out to the street and we can't, because that's blocked off. Man, this is a maze, man. All right, how do we get through this maze? Uh, that's the trap. So then out here. You passed a Protectron. I already talked to him earlier in the stream. So, how do I get... Maybe I have to explore from the other side. So we got holes in the building up there and another gate up here. Wichton TV's theory about the Scorch Beasts are that they are the reason for the legend of the Jersey Devil. What do you think? That's a great theory. I'm, I'm waiting to hear more about the lore uh, for, by exploring the game. And this is that main street we walked down. And this city has a wall around it. With even more gates all the way around it. So I guess that means that it was taken down from within. I mean, if they had gates preventing the Scorched from coming inside, then that can only mean the scorched we find there are of the people who were inside. That leads down to that road we saw. Here's a bit of a camp. There's the church. Some sort of trap I just triggered. Let's try to save some ammo. Got automated defenses up there? Is that what's going on? This is just a sprawling mess. What's your favorite looking power armor? 
Uh, well, they're, they're, they're really good looking. I've always been fond of the T45 and the T60. Uh, this, this excavator power armor also looks really good. Can I get down to the street level from here? Or what is, where is this taking me? Oh, it's taking me deep. Leonard's Journal Entry. There's a lot of talk around town about the physical changes that are happening to Daniel Whitby. Some folks are calling him a monster and want to kick him out of the Harper's Ferry. Others say those two responders that showed up should be given the time to help him out. Honestly, I don't know what's right. But I do know that whatever's happening to Daniel could already be happening to all of us, not because of him, but because of what the war did to our world. For all we know, all of mankind may end up like poor Daniel. Honestly, we have no one to blame but ourselves. Floor safe. Fat man, whoa. Make sure I didn't miss anything back here. These are all, ooh, a locked door. You get into the church from where you saw the small camp you just jump over to a small rock overhanging behind the camp. All right, thank you, Triangle Dangle. I'll um, head that back that way in a minute. But I still have a lot of Harper's Ferry still to explore. Maybe sh short on dog on um, food soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and snag all that. Okay, that's a wrecked terminal. Is there anything back there worth getting to? Desk fan, a ballot box, clipboard. And that's how safe I got. Oh, I'm stuck. Come on. Run. Gotta go for what I got. <laughs> it's just the leg. But it's what I can actually aim for. Man. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's Greg going downstairs. Okay, what have we got here? Manager's terminal. But it's locked. Profit, P R O F I T. T H R O N E. 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 What? T H R O N E. T H R O N E T H R. There it is. Eleven sixteen seventy six. Sales of the shop have really picked up this month. A bunch of folks are buying up all sorts of camping gear, survival equipment, and canned goods. When I ask them about uh, what they're up to, they start talking about preparing for the end of civilization and the collapse of society. Sounds like crazy talk to me, but they're paying cash so they can say whatever they like. Of course, it gets a bit scary when they buy cases of ammunition. I don't exactly feel comfortable knowing we've got these kooks living in the mountains sitting on that kind of firepower. January of 2077. It's not even a single day into the new year, and a fight breaks out in the streets over politics. No one knows who started it, but it didn't really matter. It was the same old story again. One guy mouthed off about how lousy the government is hand handling everything, and then a patriot stepped in to tell him that he was wrong. Discussion led to shouting, shouting led to insults, and then the insults led to blows. The police eventually broke it up, but this divide isn't getting any smaller. Harper's Ferry is tearing itself apart. 
March of 2077. Had a fellow in fancy suit stop by the shop today. He was wearing dark sunglasses, had an earpiece, and looked clean cut. Almost too clean cut, if that makes any sense. I knew he was government way before he showed me his ID. He started asking questions about the folks who've been stockpiling all the supplies, then asked me to give him names and addresses. I refused at first, but then he asked to see my tax records. I caught his drift, so I gave him the copies of my receipts. He left without saying thanks. Maybe those doomsday, doomsday folks aren't so crazy after all. August 22nd, 2077. The summer's almost over, and tourist season was a disaster. I'm pretty sure it's all the crap that's going on in the news. We're in the thick of it with China at this point, and I have a feeling people aren't sure what's going to happen next. Are you on, sweetie? Okay, well, Mama's going to have dinner in a couple of hours, all right? Well, go downstairs with Mama, okay? It's okay. Go downstairs with Mama, sweetie. Sorry, kiddo wanted to say hi. Do if it wasn't for the supplies I sold at the end of last year to those survivalists, I'd already be out of business. I'm still convinced the government will come up with some sort of peaceful solution to the crisis before it all goes to hell. But who knows? Maybe I should just start stockpiling a few things myself, just in case. Safe control, disengaged, lock. The kooks ended up being right. Ooh, got a salvage to Sultron head, but not what I was looking for. I've heard there's a bug with the salvage to Sultron heads that if you have a bunch of energy ammunition in your inventory and you try to use it, it'll consume all of your energy ammo in one shot. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't tried it myself, but that is what I've been hearing. Okay, let's move on this way. And this leads to another broken room. And nothing over here. So, let's go upstairs instead of going out to the street. We can always head out, head out to the street later. Oh. This just leads us back to where we were. Okay. So, out to the street it is. Jordan Gertler says, It's adorable how, you're, how you interact with you. Still following the videos. How your little interacts with you. Still following your videos. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Uh... There we go. We will head to the church, but now let's check this terminal. Little one's aw, says Jordan. Yeah, I know. That, uh, Jesus Sunday Holotape Part 2. For the past few years, my brother's been bummed out. Like, like really sad. Personally, I don't think he's ever recovered from watching the world end. Hell, I don't think any of us have. I tried to talk to him about it. They kept pushing me away and changing the subject. But after J.D. met Brianna Hawk in Harper's Ferry, you know, things turned around. She helped him out you know, by giving him a different shoulder to cry on. Why JD's more comfortable with her than his own brother, I'll never know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm kind of, I'm kind of angry. Maybe even a little jealous. I'm gonna let it go for his sake. Still. There's something about Brianna that bugs me. So I'm gonna keep an eye on her. Hmm. Jealousy and suspicion. What else have we got here? Clipboard. Southgate Terminal. Missing persons, missing hunting hunter party. This is the same hunter party. I think this is all the same. It is. Okay, and it's, it's all the same. So that's the second terminal where we got that same quest. Oh, but we can use it. 
Oh no. It's the button. That's right, the button. Uh, let's see, where's the button? There should be a button to unlock the gate. There we go. What's this? A little graveyard? Cemetery or a workshop? Black powder rifle? Oh, what level is this one? Level 45, better than the one I've got. All right. So, let's take it back to camp, repair it, and then uh, salvage the old one. Wait, is Jesus Sunday his name or the holotape titles? It's his name. His name is uh, Jesus Sunday. Or maybe it's Jesus Sunday. King Lenny says, Ox, what happened to all your fusion cores? I stored them in my spare power armor frame. Because they were taking up space. Black powder pistol. I'm not doing a pistol build, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Yeah, it's not a cemetery. It was like a little museum. And those, I believe, are the buildings we explored earlier. So, we're making progress. Back in here, we can go down the street and head up to the southern part of the town by heading through these buildings. Looks like we got a clinic here. I never find these doctor's bags filled with anything. Let's see what's in the basement. Oh, oh no, oh. Ah, oh, right on top of me. That's what I get. Buff out, buff tats. Hello, hello, what have we here? I'll open that in a minute. Let's see, rat axe. I can probably stop looting all that rat axe. I've got enough now. And then tats. Don't need that. And that back opens up back out here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Security door control. Open door. Whoa. Oh, it's a it's an operating room. Medex is the only chem I'm using right now, so I'll keep that, but I will take the stim pack. Ooh, lots of medics. Oh, <laughs> they really tried to get rid of the pain. Okay, we got another terminal here. Medtech Symptomatic Terminal. Requires level two. Hey, thanks for the tip, Chris. Infested. I-N-F-E-S-T-E-D. Strength, S-T-R-E-N-G-T-H, 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 there it is. Technical notes. Installed the symptomatic at the clinic without being bombarded by questions from the staff has been difficult. So far, I've convinced everyone that the symptomatic is merely designed to make their life easier by taking blood samples, blood pressure, and body temperature quickly and with hyper-accurate results. Even though the device can fully diagnose a patient's ailments and even issue prescriptions if necessary, I feel we shouldn't implement those features until after it's been here a while. We don't want the, co the county doctor here taking a torch to a device that could very well become his replacement. Uh-oh. More machines replacing humans. After a month of tinkering, I'm confident that the symptomatic has been calibrated. Here are some of the issues and tips I ran into during the process. To avoid discomfort, the machine's rectal probe should be heated. 
<laughs> the vocal synthesizer shouldn't exclaim bullseye every time it takes a blood sample. <laughs> Liquid proof the device's housing in case of miss misses when taking urine samples. Ah. During measurement cycles, the blood pressure cuffs shouldn't completely sever the patient's limb. Oh. Most of these issues were quite minor. Most, except for the limb, I guess. Although I'm fairly certain that there will be a lawsuit pending against MedTech very soon. Yikes. Broken bones, airborne viruses, lacerations. There doesn't appear to be anything the symptomatic can't handle. We may have had a rocky start, but the device is beginning to hit its stride. I'm glad that we decided to install the fusion batteries inside the unit, as the clinic lost power last night and the device was able to operate without interruption. It appears that we have quite a success on our hands. In, the symptomatic has been at the Harper's Ferry Clinic for almost a year now, and it's outperformed all of our expectations. My fears that the machine would be seen as a threat to the staff's profession were wrong. They're actually quite appreciative of the help. Even the clinic's doctor is taking a, like in, a liking to the symptomatic, likely because he no longer has to be on call 24 hours a day. To call this test a success would be an understatement. It's my opinion MedTech should begin a full rollout of the device immediately. Let's see, did I miss this one? Nope, I got that one. All right, save control, disengage, lock. Fantastic. And not so fantastic. Man, they look so much like the auto docks from Fallout New Vegas. I wonder if, from a lore perspective, they're the same thing. Looks like we got a bit of a... Looks like the computer thinks there's a hole in this roof, but I don't think that hole was programmed in. Okay, well, we got some good stuff there, some nice lore. Let's find our way out. Is there an upstairs we can go to? Yeah, it looks that way. Oh, I still have that equipped. Okay. Oh, look at this. Lots of stuff. Letter of resignation. Hey, Ella, I know you were really excited for me to help work in the clinic, but I think it's time for me to officially quit. I can put electronics back together, no problem, but when it comes to people, I just don't have the stomach for it, as well as we all witnessed the other day. Since the responders have stepped in, I truly believe I'm better off tinkering with radios. Abby, is that the same Abby from Abby's Bunker? Maybe. Ella's terminal. Open for business. The Free States. I finally got this clinic in decent shape. It wasn't easy given the amount of patients we were already dealing with, but I had a lot of help from the survivors. I met a nice girl named Lucy who's been a big help. The mayor has even pitched in, and as an added bonus, Abby and Marty have been happy helping too. It doesn't really seem to be Abby's thing, but it's good to see her putting in the effort. Niraj told me she wasn't too keen on the idea of coming here. The Carson family. In com common during this terminal, I found the following entry. As of May 23rd, this clinic no longer serves the Carson family. This includes Caleb, Elizabeth, Caleb, Caleb, Elizabeth, and their children, Madeline and Max. You can refer them to the Morgantown or Charleston clinics, but due to their constant involvement with the free states, our doors are closed to them. I just have no words to think the people here hated us this much, and now here we are, saving their lives. Ooh, Vault 94, more DLC foreshadowing. I was talking to Miranda at the clinic the other day, and she told me about having an ambassador from Vault 94. From what she described and what I can gather, I'm betting you anything some simple fools went out there, witnessed a geck in action, and somehow messed it, up, uh, messed it all up out of ignorance. It explains the second large explosion we felt after the bombs dropped, and how this mysterious fog came rolling out, which stirred up all this change. I can't even begin to scientifically theorize the effects it would have it would have on an environment when improperly utilized. Could the Scorch somehow be involved with what went on at Vol 94? Ghouls. Thoughts and ponderings on the things we call ghouls. Chris Bradley says, how's your evening? Thanks for the great content. My evening is going very well, and I'm so glad you're here. First encounter. I saw and killed my first live ghoul today. There was no pride in it. The whole thing's got a mind all gummed up. When I examined the body, his human life was all I could see. I found a letter to his mama just rotting away in his pocket, a picture of his daughter. At least, I assume, it's an old locket around his neck. I mean, Jesus, is this what we're all heading for? I'm going to see if I can get in touch with Maria from the responders group. I'll see what she knows, and maybe we can learn more about it. 
endless autopsies. I've been working with Maria Chavez a bit on these ghouls. They're, they're, they're no lack of bodies, although we steer clear of the glowing ones. I can only wonder, theorize, on the circumstances that created those abominations. Body systems are mostly intact, some just barely, and others like the immune system. I can't even speak for. The radiation in their systems may be their new immune system now. We've noticed some regenerative properties, especially when glowing ones are present, so I can only speculate that radiation has made some severe changes to their cells. Sentient ghouls. Talked to a few survivors today about the idea of sentient ghouls. Had a man half off his rocker claiming he heard one of them talk. But, of course, he shot her first chance he had. Oh, no. I can't really blame him, but if something's talking to you, you may want to try and listen next time. For all he knows, she could have been a survivor just like him, covered in swamp mud. But old Terry's story brought out a new, a few more... A few more from people who thought they may have heard a ghoul or two say a few things that made sense, most with the same knee-jerk reaction. I went and told Duncan if he has any run-ins with some chatty ghouls to see if he can either catch one or at least bring me the body. Daniel Whippy. Today we got our first definitive proof that a ghoul could be, for lack of a better word, friendly. One of the local boys, Daniel Whitby, was sick. We all figured he'd taken a back seat of the flu and Lucy was keeping a close eye on him. Well, all hell broke loose when people found out Lucy was hiding him away, looking for a cure. That boy just looked up, scientifically speaking, that boy just looked, scientifically speaking, all pruned up. Now Lucy's fled Harper's on account of people being royal jerks, and we've got Daniel locked up in quarantine. I'm not even sure he'll last the night, but I've got Charlie and Jacob keeping watch. DKT says Oxwatoga Station might sell out, might, might sell the dragon. Level 45, 378 damage, power powder rifle. 500 caps. Check it out. Watoga Station? Okay, I'll check it out. Oop, addict all. That'll come in handy. What have we here? Looks, I'll be, looks like I'll be making a trip to Watoga Station. We already cleared Watoga, and the robots are friendly now, so that should make things easy. Guitar sword. Let's see, Lydia's Journal, page 24. I can't do this. Connor came in today with a torn off leg. Jesse said a gulper got him. I mean, what the hell is that? There was so much blood and we couldn't even save him. Ella said he'd already lost too much by the time they got him here, but they did all they could. Connor was my age. He didn't have a bunker to stay safe in during the war. He was a fighter, but it wasn't enough. Will any of this be enough? Sounds like they have one of those devices on the roof. We hear it churning around. And I think that's it. So we can't get to the other side. Yeah, there it is. So we can't get to the other side of the street from here. All right, building number two. At least I'm collecting more ammo. What is this? Manager's terminal. Wait a minute, I was here. Oh, this must be how I got down to the street level. So then what's over here? Okay, uh, all right, well I explored over there. Let's go up the street and then we need to find a way over to the other side. What have we here, a piano in the middle of town? And a tuba. <laughs> I'll play them later. So we're to get up in there. Here we go. The third terminal here. Restoring order. Things are finally starting to shape up around here at Harper's Ferry. 
We got a lot of defenses up and running, a real perimeter, and people taking lookout shifts. Nearish is working on some new contraption to help with these brutal storms that sweep through. He said they could filter the air or something. And ella has got a decent clinic set up with the help of the responders. Makes me feel like maybe Riley was right. We can have a real go at this. And some of these survivors prove they aren't completely worthless, too. <laughs> One guy, Duncan, turned out to be a decent hunter. And another gal, <laughs> Kendall. Oh, shit. She's a better shot than me. Still, you look at these people struggling here, just think, you bastards had your chance. We practically spelled it out for you. You just turned your noses up and called us crazy. Bunch of idiots. Is that it? Rainer says, what do you think of the fact that the mysterious serum is in Fallout 76 considering it only comes from the Cabot family's blood? If that's the case, then I'll be disappointed because that's clearly a lore mistake. <clears throat> and it has all the same terminal entries. All right, everyone's telling me to drink. Okay, okay, okay. I'll drink. I'll drink. YouTube, juice, cola, let's see. Silt bean soup. Mm. Swamp tofu. All right. Tato juice. Okay, where's the button? There's the button. That leads back outside. This is where I came in. I came in from up there. Well, we do find a door here. See where it leads. Cabot was way pre-war, not lore breaking. Uh, yeah, but the point is not whether or not Cabot was pre-war, but how the blood could get to West Virginia. Like, we already know that Jack Cabot, Lorenzo's son, and his immediate family members were the only ones synthesizing the mysterious serum from his blood. It's a very specific item that only came from Lorenzo Cabot's blood. So we'd have to explain how Jack Cabot came to West Virginia with his family, synthesized some blood, and left it here in random containers. You see the problem? Raider corpse. Maybe this will get us in. Wow. And that did it, that got us in. I believe this is the last section that we haven't explored. Yep. Plastic. Now to explore these houses.
Whoa, that's a big mushroom. Hello. <clears throat> no nuke code? Okay. I mean, I didn't hear it beeping, but I'm surprised to find an officer spawning without one. Okay, heading towards this church. Let's go around back. Campfire. I think I cooked up all my food. Though. Rad scorpion filet. I'll take that. Man, there's corpses everywhere. Hooray for scrounger! Where are we now? We've uh, gone back to the main entrance. I think we can now go to the church. Oh, we've got a back door to the church. Hello. Launchers are dropping like candy. Scrap our junk. Tinkerer's workbench. Need some ammo in a minute. Let's head out the front door. Find a corpse. Oh, a couple corpses outside. Man, just everywhere. What are these machines supposed to do? Have we found that out and I just missed it? Rainer says, are you sad you can't even get dog meat in 76? Uh, no, I mean, we didn't have dog meat in Fallout New Vegas. Sharon's angry letter. Mr. Hayes, something must be done about Daniel Whitby. That man is clearly carrying a disease and he needs to be removed from Harper's Ferry before we all become infected. Dakota Bear says, well, if it isn't my favorite neighborhood, Oxhorn. That's right, I'm here, and I'm so glad you're here, too. Have you seen his skin? His hair? He's changing into a monster, and unless we exile him, there's going, uh, we're all going to end up looking that way. Send him packing right now, or force Ella and Maria... To drag him back to the responders HQ, uh, pardon me, HQ in Charleston. Whatever it takes. He's a ticking time bomb, Eddie. Don't wait until it's too late. Sharon. More anti-ghoul prejudice. Okay, so we've got some beds. I want a weapons workbench before I scrap <clears throat> my lever action or my other... Rifle. I want, some, I want a weapons workbench. Shotgun shells. Aloe's log. Harper's Ferry. May second, twenty eighty. Jesus, I'm tired. Ever since we agreed to help rebuild Harper's, it's just been nonstop work. These people are in some bad shape. Some are improving, but it pains me to see our supplies dwindle. It's just that logical knowledge of knowing you packed for four and then suddenly you need to provide for eight. 
On the bright side, we met a guy named Derek the other day who said he's with a group of people called the Responders. They seem to have realized what we knew all along, that the government wasn't going to lift a finger to help clean up this mess. The Responders have been at it from the start with no sign of order, so they took it upon themselves to organize and help those in need. It's also a relief to no longer be the only one with a real medical background and training. Derek said he could bring back some supplies and help out a bit, at least until we're more settled. Lucy's been a great help, but her training as an esthetician can only go so far. All right, we found the fortifications key. Now we need to find the armory, and it looks like we are close. I'm not seeing any staircase in here, so no basement. Oh, there's a whip. It's right in front of my face. Ah. Black powder rifle, level 45. Repair. Gears adhesive, nine springs. I'm not gonna repair it because everyone in chat is telling me that there's a better one for sale in Watoga. So I'm gonna keep it with me for now to use it, but I'm gonna wait and <laughs> save my springs and uh, get myself to Watoga uh, pretty soon to finish on up. Looks like we need to go down there to explore. Ooh, a couple houses back there. Let's head behind the alleyway. Hello. What have we here? Rib cage and pelvis in a box. Isn't that disturbing? Somehow I feel like I've been here. This is just, everything is a big maze. But I don't remember any of this. Hey, nuclear material. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder if I can get up there from down here. Ooh, a food dehydrate. Oh, it's all oh, plastic. I'll take it. Oh, pumpkin pie. All right. Steeped melon blossom chai. Plan. Recipes. Looks like I could already make the chai. Lydia's journal, page 20. I met a guy today. His name is DeAndre, and he's so cute. I literally did not even think guys like this existed anymore. He also says he is part of a group called the Responders. They've been helping out the survivors here for a bit, so hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of each other. It might be time for me to volunteer at the clinic. Well, at least she had a brief moment of happiness. Oh, man. Is there a window or something I can get to over here? Oh. Maybe I can get to it from over here. Wait, is there another staircase down? There is. <clears throat> I 
But I, I came from here, didn't I? Didn't I come from here? I did. Yeah. Uh, all right, well, let's see if there's any staircase back. Yeah, there is a door back here. All right, maybe we don't have to go parkour. Really? These are all blasted out. Oh, I can't search that. Everyone's reminding me that I can use the lever action rifle now, and I know, but uh, I, I can't, uh, it's at my camp. I don't have it on me, so I'll be sure to pull it out when I get back to camp. I appreciate it, though. There we go. Sure enough, it leads out here. Another, I'm assuming, Brotherhood satellite dish. Gatling gun speed receiver. Ah, terminal. Miranda's terminal. J-U-N-G-L-E L-E-A-D-E-R Oh man, L-E-A-D-E-R, L-E-A-D-E-R, L-E, okay, so Survival. I have no idea how long it's been since the nuclear attack, but it feels like a lifetime. We're losing more people each day, but it's worse now. At first it was just radiation and injuries. Now we have to worry about other people that want to take what little, little we have. And the surrounding forest and swamp area grow more deadly with each passing day. Vault 94 again. Recently, we had our first ray of hope. An ambassador from Vault 94 arrived. She had real food and said the vault had enough supplies to establish a farm that could feed us all. I sent a group to check out her story when I should have gone myself. Those fools. I'm not sure what they did, but it wasn't long before we heard an explosion and the earth shook. Vault 94 and all of its promise was destroyed, and now a strange cloud emanates from the entrance, wafting down into the surrounding forest. What have we done? Oh, man, the free states. <clears throat> I've heard from Quaid that he caught a glimpse of none other than Rayleigh Clay outside his bunker. He said he was armed with a shotgun, so he didn't want to approach, but looked, as he put it, healthy as a horse. I may have shunned Clay and his free states movement, but if I'm going to put the people here first, he may be our best bet. He and his people prepared for this very situation for years. If anything, perhaps he'll at least accept an apology. Okay, so this was the mayor. Yeah, okay, I should have read the top. Office of the Mayor Miranda Fox. Safe control. Disengage line. A cryolator? What? <laughs> you got a cryolator? Level 45. What? All right.
Man, it just keeps turning me around. But I th think we've explored everything except where we need to go. Now we just gotta find that armory, which is over here. Did I explore in here? I think I did. I don't wanna miss anything. I got people dependent on the law. Gotta find it all. I think I got it all. Oh, I don't remember this. Aha! Oh, ho, ho. I think I see a way out. Okay. Gotta get in that building. This is the clinic. Okay. We're on top of the clinic. Great. Let's see. What's on the roof? G Maybe it's Jesus. Jesus Sunday's holotape part one. few years my brother's been bummed out like like really sad you know Where personal man I don't think he's ever recovered when my brother JD and I answered the call to head into Harper's Ferry we we expected to find an an organized free state stronghold now that we're here it's obvious that no one knows what the hell they're doing the other Free State's families are wasting precious resources, trying to restore Harper's Ferry and create a safe haven for survivors. Instead, they should be turning the town into a fort and, and stockpiling supplies to prep for the long haul. And we'll still pitch in, but we don't plan on sticking around long to see what happens. We don't think that Harper's Ferry will ever be safe. So... So we're going to use our share of the supplies to reinforce the bunker at our cabin. <clears throat> okay. Well, we got that holotape. Now, there are still all of those notes from Elise, but 20 of them? I don't know if there are 20 in here. Maybe some are lost. So maybe I won't be able to find all 20. Okay, the last building. Let's start from over here. This facility has been condemned by the U.S. Army. Liars. Oh. Let me get in. There we go. Oh no. The supply closet. Okay. Here we go, free states, armory access. Remote door control. Jamit says, that's a real head scratcher. Wasn't the cryolator a weapon custom made by the Vault 111 Overseer? Yeah. Oh, load the master holotape into the army's terminal. They should really order these in the order we get them. Uh. Master hollow tape. Master hollow tape. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, how many holotypes do I have? They're not even organized by letter. Master holiday, but the very end. Sit back, relax, and let the holotape work its magic. Follow the option that appears below for guaranteed results. Armory access. This program will redirect the Harper's Ferry communications to connect with the Free States Network. Step one, select run. Step two, you're done. Thanks, Abby. Semi-ideal. You made it. And maybe Harper's Ferry is not the nasty Scorch Bee's nest I assumed it was. Now that you're in, you need to get to Raleigh's terminal and use that master holotape to download his routing schematics. We need them to set up the communication network for the uplinks and tie everything together. Bad news is, Raleigh fortified the armory to protect our research against the Brotherhood of Steel after they stopped playing nice. There's no outside access to the security we wired up there, for safety purposes, so you may need to dodge a few turrets. So, if all goes well, Great. you'll be hearing from me soon enough. Did I leave the master holotape in here? Nope. Okay, turrets. Let's go see. First time watching live, your videos are great, says DTAWFU. Thanks, man. Welcome to the program. Okay, well, we're in the armory. We gotta find Rayleigh's terminal and dodge turrets. Let's go in a counterclockwise fashion here. By dodge, I of course mean stand directly in line of fire. Because, you know, why not? For a place called the Armory, I have high expectations. Okay, how many turrets are up here? Just one. Let's see what's behind us? Ooh, that goes to the other building, so let's explore this way first. Near Raj's terminal. Air scrubbers. I've started construction on an air scrubber that we can set up throughout Harper's Ferry. These storms that blow through full of radiation and strange diseases are too much. So that's what those are, air scrubbers, okay. Initial tests, initial testing of the air scrubbers appears successful. Now it's just a matter of uh, listing out and scavenging all the materials to create. Oh, only a dozen more, so hopefully the benefit will get some people on board. So they were air scrubbers, much like the um, the fog condensers we found in Far Harbor. Tanker's workbench. Don't mind if I do. Right. Moving on this way. Oh, stack. <laughs> Laser traps. Ah, uh, oh, I see. Yeah, 
Anything over there first? Nope. Okay. Dragon. And across we get. No flamers in the face. Thank you very much. What? Oh, down here. Getting a huge lag spike going on. Okay, that laser is kind of going in here. Uh, is that at the end or? Yeah. Oh, and I did trigger them, but they were above. <laughs> okay. Oh man, what is with this frame rate? Oh, you see that? I'm suddenly just hitching all over the place. Okay, we got some sort of production facility here. Requires level zero. Gonna hack this sucker, of course. Vote. V O T E 1. V O T E 2. F O R M. F O R M. F O R M. F O R M. Security door control. Minigun gunner sight. Might as well. This leads. Hey, we saw this. We can just get back <clears throat> past the FPS hitches. I'll be good. Combat shotgun, fuel, 45 rounds. Oh, everything we need. That's very strange, Rambo. Sharpshooters, assault rifle. Targeting cards. All right. Up we go. Last part of this maze. Oh, if I can even turn my camera. Hunting rifle, minigun. That one's broken, and that one's broken. Into the breach. Well, I gotta go. Have a driving lesson now. Have fun, man. Thanks, Dakota Bear. Level 45. That might be worth experimenting with. Let's take it back and look at it. At least I'm getting a ton of springs. It's great. 
Jed's letter. We've got two more cases of 10 millimeters coming in tomorrow, so that should take care of the ammo. I've talked to Larry, and he's got plenty of drinking water, but we've got to do something about Henry. When we put him in charge of the food stockpile, we didn't expect that idiot to collect 100 boxes of sugar bombs. How does he expect everyone to survive on that sugary junk after everything goes to hell? Tell him to start collecting real food, or else he can shelter in his own bunker. <laughs> sugar bombs. And another door. Man, they were really secretive about this uh, this armory stockpile. I am expecting big things. And I'm hearing something. What? Was that three turrets stacked on top of each other? Why did they start shooting at me? How could they see me from over there? Oh, someone's down there. Okay. Beats, B E A T S, B E A T S, B E A T S. Security door control. Open door. Protecting our own. I think it's time we claim the armory as our own. I'll need to get Eddie and Neeridge to help out with some security measures. Survivors are gonna hate it, but we gotta protect our own, especially against the damn Brotherhood. Yeah, Derek told us they've been hitting up the responders for manpower and supplies and not taking no for an answer. Well, they got another thing coming if they try that over here, and we need to be ready. Rayleigh's terminal, finally. Perimeter. We finally got a decent perimeter set up around Harper's Ferry. It's quite the, improv the improvised mix of train cars and scrap. Fingers crossed she holds. Eddie's working on getting patrols together. Miranda's completely stepped aside, which has eased some of the tension. The woman has many flaws, but to her credit, pride ain't one of them. Brotherhood of Steel. We met a group today calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Believe me, it ain't no union. From what I heard, some of them once forced a group of our own out of Thunder Mountain back when they went by some other name. Hmm. Either way, I don't like it. We're not rebuilding this place to be taken over by some self-proclaimed military. They're exactly what we wanted to get away from. Trade routes. We've been able to set up a few small trade routes, which have been risky but successful. We found a couple more communities out there. Some people are building up in the trees. Other managed a decent shanty town, for lack of a better word. Then, of course, there's the route we secured to Charleston to work with the responders. It's been a decent exchange so far, and hopefully we can build it up. Crime. We found a body the other day. It's so torn up we have no way of knowing who it was, and it's got the entire town in an uproar. Most are worried about some new killer creature, but a few other folks think we got a madman on the loose. Of course, Sam's also nowhere to be found, so the next question is, is he the victim? The man just got here after burying his daughter. It wouldn't surprise me if this was what he wanted. Eddie, Naraj, Miranda. 
They all think it's him, but my gut says otherwise. And why? I guess believing Sam just left without a word is still better than him being dead. Oh, that's right. We got a load hollow tape, and we know that this is the very, very bottom of our list. Okay, all the way to the bottom. Master hollow tape. System detected. Sit back, relax, and let the hollow tape initiate program. Download complete. Download routine schematics. Downloading routine schematics complete. Listen to Abby. Play the holotape. Or let's eject the master. Let's play the holotape. Nope, let's eject. Listen to Abby. Okay, what did I do wrong? predictions were successful and you're legitimately triggering this next message if not i guess i'm speaking to no one and none of this is going to matter but i digress you want to find senator sam blackwell's terminal and use the master holotape to download the files we need it should be fun since you get to visit the one and only charleston capitol building still intact last i saw then Find the nearest relay tower, upload all that hard-earned data. Piece of cake, right? Right. Is that it? Wow, the, the holotape did not match the subtitles. Shroomy the Loner says, can I get a whoop whoop? Whoop whoop. <sighs> Jesus. Whoa. What am I even doing? It's not done? It's hopeless. Damn, still recording. <laughs> okay, we need to go to Charleston, but there are still a few things we need to do here. Uh, first of all, I know the chat really wants me to go get my lever action rifle. We'll do that before going to Charleston. But there is that search party, remember? Remember we read a terminal entry saying that there was a search party that went missing? And now we have this mark, this place marked on our map. So I want to go find it. We're in some sort of courtyard. Where does this go? That leads out. Okay. I was told I'd find a lever action rifle here in Harpers Ferry, but I guess that's not it. Do you need the master holotape back? I ejected it. I think I have it. All right, now I'm thirsty. Let's drink something. No. And let's eat something. Pumpkin pie. Bubble gum, canned meat stew, and dog food. The search party is over here. Let's head that way, see if we can track them down, and then we'll go back to camp, get the lever action rifle, go to Watoga, get the dragon or whatever it's called, then go to Charleston, depending on how much time we have left. And here the train tracks converge. This is cool. Water's at the end of this crack, tunnel. 
What was that? What was that? So I need to go way over here. Let's see what's at the end here. And then I'll have to jump down because there's no way forward. More free states? Crater corpse. Gas mask. Ooh. All sorts of stuff. Bag of chlorine? All right, let's jump down. Or no, we can scale this way. Little lady says, hey, Oxhorn, how do you make a tissue dance? You put a little boogie in it. Uh, I'll tell that one to my kids later, thank you. <laughs> Oh, wow, cool. So we've got a little path along the rocks here. Where does this lead? There's a little tent, a hairbrush inside. And a bunker above us. Or is that below us? Probably below us. Some sort of brotherhood camp, I'm guessing. Copper, copper, well, lots of copper. Wow, what's at the top? What is that? What is that? The Flatwoods Monster? What? Emily says, hey, Ox, love your vids. I also appreciate your dedication to us fans. So I thought I'd share what I could. Well, thank you. The Flatwoods Monster? Why did it disappear? family and the missing dog. There's the missing dog we read about. And the family. Best dress and the suit. Aww. Guess we can't adopt him. Glad the Flatwoods monster didn't get him. I guess I need to be on the Brotherhood quest to be able to interact with that. But we're at the top. We should have a clear path all the way to the bottom gallery. Ronald says, Ox the dragon is from a mutant merchant, not Watoga, but he's traveling merchant, often named Graham. 
You know, I've uh, met Graham, and I've never seen him holding the dragon. Maybe, maybe he only carries it if you're a certain level. I was told in chat that it was at a merchant in Watoga. Is that just where Graham goes to sometimes? If so, then I just won't bother going to Watoga. Okay, let's find this party. It's probably a party of ghouls by now. I know it's dark. Sorry for not turning on my light, but I don't want to give myself away. Hardball! We read about this guy. You there, civilian, identify. No immediate government threat observed. Hmm. Initial readings indicate non-hostile. As a member of the Free States and protector of Harper's Ferry, I hereby conscript you into service. I have wounded to protect, and re-establishing communications with Duncan McCann is vital. I have reason to believe their party was ambushed and a distress beacon deployed, but the signal is too weak to find. Your duty is to find a signal booster. Possible search locations include Harper's Ferry or the Valley Galleria Electronic Store. Once you've acquired the booster, proceed to the Survival Training Center and call down a cargo bot using this passcode. Attach the booster, release the cargo bot, and wait for the distress signal ping to reach your pet boy. Follow the ping, find the party. Dismissed! Oh, wow, okay. Courtney's note. Let's wait for our quest log to update. Find that a signal is, booster. Soldier. Dear finder of this note, if you have found this, obviously I'm dead, I'll but my two cats are not. If you have any heart, please seek out Harper's Ferry and resume care over my precious Lala and Misty. Or notify someone who will. Suggestions for responsible parties, Niraj or Abby Singh, Shira Van Buren, or Cassandra Roberts. People to stay away from at all costs. Charlie Walker. Warning, if Misty bites you, it's a sign of love. Aww. Watch out for ghouls in the area. My analysis indicated a higher level of intelligence than usual. Okay, well, we just got a bunch of new... We got a new quest. I ran into a Free States gust, gutsy named Hardball who told me to find a signal booster to track Duncan McCann's missing hunting group. He said I could find one in Harper's Ferry or the Valley Galleria store. Observing. Nothing new to report. So we've, we've explored Harper's Ferry. We haven't explored the Galleria store. DKT says I bought the dragon from the train station. Okay, great. Well, then I'll head to Watoga to the train station. Let's ex let's discover this location so that we can fast Checking travel here later. So low they're undetectable. Then we'll continue with our quests. South to the Galleria. To find a signal booster. But we'll explore it later. We're just going to get the location. Then go get my lever action rifle and dragon if we can find it. I wonder how much money I have. Oh, and all the way down from these rocks. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Alley up! Geronimo! I can't believe I found the Flatwoods monster. I wish I attacked it. All right, let's find some shallow water so we can wade across. Think this is shallow enough? We just need to discover it. We don't want to stay long. Oh, no.
Valley Galleria. Found it. All right, back to camp. Oops. Okay. Night vision vicious lever action rifle. Still can't use this combat shotgun I've saved. Ninety damage, forty eight damage. But it's the fire rate that's different. Fire rate Five fire rate 33. I'll save a ton of ammunition this way though. Oh, and it's got a scope. All right, uh, AFK for one second. I'll be right back. Gotta get some more water. Kidding me? <laughs> no! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what I get for being out of my power armor. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's respawn at my. Uh, let's just... Why can't I respawn at my at my camp? Why can't I respawn at my camp? <laughs> oh no. Ox, you really need to put some turrets down when you build your camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I just not go AFK.
pain train. I love it. Is that all of them? All right, let's put some turrets down. Where are the turrets I built? Why are they not stored? Why are they not stored? Okay, what was I doing? Oh yes, my lever action rifle. Night vision, vicious lever action rifle. Sweet, it's already got a vicious receiver. And a true long barrel. And a suppressor. Man, this was a great find. Let's repair it. Oh, uh, it still takes springs. Nine springs. Nine. Oh my gosh. Why does it take nine springs? Let's store some stuff. Cry later. My hardened sniper rifle, I'm not going to need you anymore. Goodbye, guy. This is going to be so much better on my 45 ammunition. Uh, now, the short handmade rifle, that interests me. I wonder what kind of upgrades I can do to it. I don't have any mods for this thing. And it only does 54 damage base. Yeah. I'm just gonna scrap it until, until I get enough mods to turn it into a viable weapon. I should really repair it, shouldn't I? Oh, it's gonna take all my springs. Oh, well, I picked up a bunch. Let's see, loose springs, 81. Tell you what, let's make let's make the the next level of excavator legs first. Why can't I craft? Because of the frame. Okay. Level 45, 36, 36, 36, goes up a bunch. And it takes 49 springs? Whoa, <laughs> no, I thought I had enough. I need 100 springs to make the legs for this blasted suit of power armor. Uh, let's repair my weapon first. Then let's see if I can make the level 45 version of the excavator. If I have enough. Torso. It's gonna take all my nuclear material. And a lot of my black titanium. Nine black titanium. Nine black titanium. So that's 18. Nine black titanium. I think I have enough. All right, I have enough for everything except the legs. I think those screws, 14 screws, 14 screws, uh-oh. 
That's already 28 screws. Another 14 screws. Oh. I might just have enough. Let's try it. No, no, 10 screws. I'm missing 10 screws for the helmet. Excavator torso, 35, 45. Oh, wait, the 30, the, oh, it already put it on. Oh, well that's handy. 35, 45, 25. I really need to upgrade those legs, but now I need screws and springs. And all I get is steel scrap back. Can you believe that? That's all I get back is steel scrap after all of that. Okay. Well, at least that's upgraded. Uh, what about the rest of my weapons? Shotgun's doing okay. Black powder rifle. I'm going to be getting a new one if I can find the dragon thing. And that's doing okay. All right. Well, let's cook up food. How much food have we got to cook? It's nothing, because it, it's all rotted, hasn't it? it? Looks like I don't have enough. Okay, so let's take a look at my food. Canned meat stew. Moldy food, let's drop that. Plenty of purified water. And then ton, a little bit of spoiled meat and vegetables. Let's store the spoiled meat and vegetables just in case. Need more black titanium too. Well, I will for the legs, yeah. And then how am I doing on ammunition? 2750 caliber balls, 168, 45, 189 shells. Well, let's see how I do for now. Okay. Now, to continue with the quest. Whoops, that's the wrong suit. Uh, now, let's... Avatar says your turrets are under blueprint. Just scrap the blueprint and you will find them, I think. Um, well, I should have stored them. That's, that's the problem. Oh, my death. Uh, but I didn't drop any... I, I didn't have any junk in my inventory, so... There's no bag to pick up. Okay, Watoga. See if we can find the Watoga station. What if I'm out of rotten food? Can you make food rot faster? I don't know. That's a good question. Contact. Target. 
let's let them do their thing and just run to the station. <laughs> Our Assaultrons over here. I need to stay hidden. Oh wait, the Assaultrons are not hostile because I completed the Watoga quest, right? At least they shouldn't be. I, I, did, I completed Mayor for a day. I don't want to risk it. Racing to Watoga Station. Hey, thanks for the tip, William. Lord of Disappointment says, Wow, we, I can actually get to an Oxhorn stream on time. Welcome to the broadcast. All right, moment of truth. Now, Dragon. Displaying current. Stop. Oh, so disappointing. Ready. I guess it's just a, a random Initiate. chance. Trading. 200 caps for two springs. I only have 314 of 12 caps left. I wouldn't have been able to buy it anyway. How can I assist you today? Ah, that's a bummer. Well, at least I still have my black powder rifle. Made open building menu, go under the tab for blueprints, scrap the blueprint and you'll find your turrets. I see. So the ones I already created are not saved as stored, they're saved in the blueprint. Okay. All right, well I think I've done everything I can here. So let's continue with the quest. It's for multiple springs, Ox, yeah, but uh, it would take out all my caps. It would completely clean me out of caps. Let's continue with tracking the unknowns. I went to Charleston uh, yesterday. Let's continue with this quest by going to Valley Galleria. DKT says, Ox, oh, sorry, bud. Didn't know it was random. Keep checking back. Yeah, I'll keep checking back. You should paint your second set of armor with the tricentennial colors. It will put an atom symbol next to the armor in your inventory. Oh, that's a great idea. Maybe I'll do that. So this is Valley Galleria. Let's explore it. Get the signal thing, and then we can finish this side quest for the charming Mr. Gutsy. Looks like there was a red rocket outside. Wow, that almost killed him. Pain train, love it. Volunteers needed. Don't just survive, thrive. The Responder Survivors Volunteer Program is now offering basic and advanced training for free. Feeling sick when you eat or drink? Sign up for our new Responders Volunteer Survivor Program at Flatwoods. We'll keep you safe and train you to live better too. Want to learn how to build a camp that isn't gonna blow away in a radiation storm? Or do you wanna just help us build a better tomorrow? Sign up for the volunteer Sign up for volunteer advanced training at Morgantown Airport, main hub. Bring your own supplies. Responder Miguel. And then a bunch of scrap, which I don't need. Is this... Oh, it's a responder volunteer. And that was the Brahmin. Oh. 
This responder volunteer got frozen in his tracks. Loose screws. Yeah, I could probably use some screws. I'm going to be needing more in a bit. I think I got a lot of glue. I may need to stop tracking that. Glue is probably hogging up my inventory. Hey, what's this? My stash. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know my stash was going to be here. Awesome stream, by the way, says Avatar Knight. Thank you, Avatar. Wow. Time to break it in. Yeah. That's the way. But that's the problem. Even when you only fire one shot, the lever action rifle loads five. Let's head over here. Oh, I'm going to save so much ammunition. I'm so happy. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I am. Oh, got to turn the radio off. Turn the radio off. Turn it off, 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 off. There we go. Turning off the radio. Feeling good. Getting more shotguns. Dinner plate. Got to keep that plastic going so I can make my shotgun shells. Oh, who stabbed a teddy bear in the heart with a butter knife? Oh, this is the weapon I've been waiting for. Even if I find a better one, I don't know if I'll use it because this is just so nice. This is, I mean, I had a, a weapon like this on my Fallout 4 character. That was her primary weapon as well. All right, nothing in the diner. Let's continue. What's this? Hello, back door. Oh, side door. And it's an interior cell. Uh, is this radio music gonna just demonetize me? I'm not gonna take the chance, so let's... I mean, I don't think it would, but... Let's turn it down a bit, because it sounds like we've got some, uh... Galleria music going on, and I don't want to get demonetized. Sorry about that. I've heard tale that if you go into White Springs, the music playing there, even though it's just elevator music can get you demonetized so we'll just take steps now okay a couple of paths before us down into the abyss or off this way and I already have music turned off oh no that's gonna take us upstairs I can't play with this I've got to have the music back on It's not attached to voice. There, that should be quiet enough. I hope so.
I mean, I wish there was an option to just drown it out with the sound effects, but they're not because it's tied. It's tied to the sound effects. All right, so instead of going upstairs, although, actually, hold on a minute. If that's just a balcony, does that keep going? It doesn't. So let's go upstairs then, and then we'll go back downstairs and keep, and keep exploring. What's your favorite thing about the game so far? Uh, it, I mean, it's... The thing I like most is it is the sense of freedom to just go where I want and do what I want. Ooh, we got a shop back here. A spooky, spooky shop. Valley Boutique. They don't give you po uh, points for a butt shot, do they? No. Oh. Pain train, I love it. Scorched had a battle with the fused out here. Er, I'm sorry, Scorched had a battle with the ferals out here, it seems. I tried to run, run, run right through these racks. Right, let's go around back. Boiled water. Do I need the stack of shopping baskets? Yeah, it's gonna give me something. Gold pocket watch. And bone cutter. Sorry, it sounds just a little loud. I'm gonna turn it down a bit more. There we go. Ooh, changing rooms. Not all of the music that exists is copyrighted, that's true, but all of the, ah! But all of the music in this game is, except for the instrumental music composed by Ion Zoll. Uh, everything else is copyrighted, sadly. Everything that plays on the old timey radio 45 rounds, 45 rounds, hey, hey. Finally, I'm gonna get to the point where, I, where carrying this ammunition is gonna be a problem, because I'll have too much of it. When it's a radio, I can go turn off the radio, but when it's blasting from the PA system, there is nothing I can do. Ugh. Okay, this brings me back out. So, let's go explore the bathrooms. Oh, wait a minute, we came from there. Okay. Preserved Instamash, I'll take that. Radium Rifle sounds interesting. I'll take it. Lucy's Journal. Dear Journal, Valley Galleria has been a dream come true so far. The ghouls in the area generally keep people away from us, and the added bonus is all the furniture and junk food. Now I actually have time to try to see if I can reverse this disease. We also had a few more join up recently. One woman, Sarah, came here with her sister, who's been unaffected by all of this. It's good to see a supportive face from someone who's not one of us. It gives me hope. Ox, is the patriotic music that plays in the game copyrighted? I think so. I recall when I did a video a long time ago and I tried to use music from Fallout 3 that uh, I got in trouble for it. <laughs> so it's just, uh, this is really frustrating. And then I went there. Okay, so that's this shop. Let's uh, continue to explore around this ledge, then we'll go down. Roman says the sound design is a, is a master. He made orchestra orchestral music sound like a bunch of rural metal pipes rotating in an old, old unoiled machine. Ion Zool, who made the soundtrack to this game and Fallout 4 and Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 3 uh, did an amazing job, that's for sure. How far does this go up? Looks like that's the end.
That may be the only shop up here. Some Galleria. Well, it is post-apocalyptic, so I'll give him a pass. Right, one path before us. Let's head down into the murky water. But first, let's reload our cigar. There we go. What? Right, I guess it's uh, I guess it's a piano. Looked like I scorched for a minute there. Yeah, this music would definitely get me. If I was playing it loud enough. Gosh, I hope I'm not playing it loud enough. <laughs> we'll find out. Well, I mean, I'll find out. Uh, keep talking. Keep talking, Ox. Let's see. We've got a door over there and ruins over here. Whoop, looks like that leads out to the primary open plaza. So, oops. And I'm hearing something. Oh, hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey. There you go. It's an awkward angle. <clears throat> oh, got him. Where does this go? Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. It's blocked up. Sorry for the lack of light. I know it's hard to see. Just trying to keep from dying. Okay, an employees only door. Government supply ration, and they're playing it even back here. Must be store wide. They came out with a, a fix for people streaming on consoles. You could install a script that would uh, overwrite the music so that it didn't appear in your live stream. But they didn't offer that for PC players. I don't know. I guess the technology doesn't exist to do that for PC players. All right, nothing in there. You know what, I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing music. Give me a second here. That might help. There, if we turn the music up, but then turn the effects down, that should do it. Welcome, Ryan Saylor. Glad to have you on the program. Though I'm not hearing any music. <laughs> Did they not play music in here? I guess they just want us to hear the ambience. Okay, I'm starting to get, I came from over there. She went through the door. Wow, she went through the door. She didn't even, she just went through it. Got it. Pain you. All right, the music is working, so I guess they just don't play music anymore. They want you to enjoy the ambience.
plungers. Plungers and more plungers. All right. Before we go upstairs, let's explore the kitchen. So this was a food court or something. Jacob's Hollow Tape. Uh, and that's going to be a tied to effects, so I got to turn effects up for that. All right, Jacob's Hollow Tape. Jacob's Hollow Tape. Jacob's Hollow Tape. All in. Jacob's Hollow Tape. Uh, there it is. scientist chasing after some goddamn plants. If anyone finds this, this here's my last will and testament. Want my, want my baseball mitt to go to Scott. Uh, <laughs> I smoke some liquor for you, Carly. Let's see here. My snack cakes, those for you, Charlie. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Strike that. And screw you, Charlie. You are half the reason I'm in this mess to begin with. Is that it? I guess that's it. All right, let's turn the audio down a bit. Because that's really loud. Okay. Nothing behind here, so we're gonna do a big loop of the down, then we're gonna go up. Vegetable starch and soap, good for some oil and glue. What's this? DeMarco Boyle Housewares. Oh, something violent happened down here. Let's see if we can find. Do I waste a bullet on a rad rush? And another one. I guess I do. Nothing in any of these washers and dryers. Oh, this goes upstairs. It's the second level. Well, that's cheating. We haven't finished exploring down here yet. Hey! <laughs> Plastic, finally. Something in the refrigerator. So it was an appliance shop. We're not gonna find much food, I don't think, since it was all on display. And then showers. Little playground for the kids, and then I'm almost done with this loop. We can explore some of these checkout areas. Any buttons or containers? And then the front doors should be out here. Oh wait, no, it's another shop. Electronic store. There we go. Okay, we got radios for sale, telephones, vacuum tubes, typewriters. Take those for the springs and 
screws. And then finally we get our signal booster. All right. With that done, what's the next step? I gotta upload it somewhere to summon a cargo bot. Sure, let's finish exploring the Galleria first. Oh, it was a stampede. My goodness, what is this? This is nothing on the walls there. Ox, you have to drink. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. All right, do I have any Nuka-Cola to get rid of? One. Any Tato juice? Yeah, that was almost about to rot. Uh, spoiled meat already. Purified water. We got some preserved Instamash. Any other food? Canned dog food. Glad I took that. Man, I need to keep my eyes open for boxed food. All the meat I loot just rots before I have a chance to do anything with it. I guess I should have killed those mole rats at my camp and cooked them right up, huh? Toys, toys, screws and springs. I'll take it. That's it for that <laughs> horrifying sight. And that brings us to the main gate, the main entrance to the Galleria. Leads us back out to Appalachia. But we now need to go upstairs. We're not done yet. Ooh, what's this, a jewelry? Yeah, gray and gold jewelry designer. Designers and repair. Silver locket. It's dark, it is so dark down here. There's a watch, yeah. That's it. No terminals, no notes. Try our luck. Oh, this one's out of order. Oh. Got my hopes up there. Okay, we've done a big loop. Sweet. Let's explore the center now. Anything on the tables? Man, people dying watching a show? Oh, way to go. Camera. They've respawned. What? <laughs> That's an impromptu uh, shield you got there. Where are you at? Well, you're up there now. Okay. Why do they all respawn at once? Oh man, what's going on? What? What? Did I crash? Ah, come on! Duh! Why did that happen? Why did it crash? Oh, why did it crash? I mean, I don't think it's my computer. Why would my computer work perfectly? And then just every now and then we get sporadic hitches and frame rate drops, and then the game just randomly crashes.
Ryan says that my power armor is about to go. Is it? I guess my lever action sniping was just too much for them. Oh, for Pete's sake. Uh. Did I at least get the signal responder? I did. But I wanted to explore upstairs, dang it. How am I going to do a, a lore video if I only have half the lore? Let's change the audio. Let's put the music all the way down. Let's put the master down here. I didn't go into this place and risk demonetization for my video just to get an incomplete lore video. So let's go through the front doors and kill all the scorched again. It's not like we're having to do more work. They all respawned on me anyway. My power armor looks good. I don't think my power armor is about to break. Two. Two cones. <laughs> Come on. All right. Oh, that's right. Fusion core, core glitch? I don't know. I mean, it crashed. Anything could have happened. Let's head up these stairs. Because this is all we have let to ex left, uh, left to explore. All right, I'm not seeing any others. That doesn't mean they're not here. And that's glass. Din di uh, dinner choices. Looks like this was a diner on the top floor. Good eats. Turn the radio off just for good measure. Down to the lower level. Another supply ration requisition. I've got so many of those now. I should probably call some in, huh? And that's it. Dead end. All right. Poor lady. Died eating her stew. Let's move on over here. Oh, this leads back to housewares. Wait a minute.
Wait a minute. The housewares was at the top of the, uh... Oh, did I? I didn't explore the upstairs part of the housewares. That's right. They're all standing in one spot. There we go. All right, so this is the upstairs. This is where we should find that escalator. <laughs> they were all standing stacked on top of each other. So appliances downstairs, furniture upstairs. Strangely enough, scrapping things in the display dressers and containers. <clears throat> And there we go, there's the escalators, okay. So now we've seen all of housewares. Continuing along the top. Big Steve's, sporting goods. Let's take a look at Big Steve's. Basketballs, good for rubber, not necessarily plastic, which is what I needed. Rubber and cork. This goes right above the primary doors. Let's see what we got in here. Wow, I'm bad. And that's it. Just those two. Oh, holotape. Oh, great. Another of Jacob's holotapes? Wait. No, we didn't explore up here. All right, hold on. Let's turn the music back up because we're not going to be able to listen to this holotape with the effects turned down. Hope we don't get demonetized. Jacob's holotape part two. Jacob again? That's right. Still alive. Still stuck in a fucking valley galleria. There's ghouls all over this place. And I am screwed. <laughs> I ain't got a bullet to my name. And I lost my machete in the last school that wanted to tussle. You know, the more I think about it, it's all Charlie's fault. Never should have listened to that bastard. He's got a thing for Ella. And I'm pretty sure he just wanted me out of the way. He's the one that sent me here after those, those damn flowers, huh? He planned this. I swear if I get out of here, he's a dead man. All right, let's turn that back down. Well, I doubt that Jacob made it out. In fact, I'm betting that this is Jacob. That would be my bet. Almost done with the loop. Then we can go call in the supply drop. What have we here? Functional terminal? Yes. Oh, it probably goes to that. Well, let's see if there's any lore on it. D-I-S-C-U-S-S. -S. 
S C U S S. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Fun mini game gets old pretty quickly. And there's nothing over on this side. No shops. Everything's boarded up. Elevator's not working. I think that may be it. Oh, a bar? With like a railroad or street sign themed bar. A lot of people in the bar when the bombs dropped. All right, now, there's something I always wanted to try, haven't done it yet. That's where we need to go to summon the cargo bot. Can I fast travel from inside? Oh, I can, I can fast travel from inside. Wow, that changes everything. My life is so much easier now. Okay, so where are we headed to, to summon this cargo bot? The military base of some sort? Did you ever find the key card for the secret tunnel? Um, uh, you mean the one at the bottom of uh, dr Dryer Chemical? No, I never did. I was told that it's part of a quest. So I'll have to come back. Looks like there's a tree house up there. Glowing Snallygaster, what? Where is the glowing Snallygaster? <laughs> Discovered treetops. I guess I'll have to come back there. I, I'm running out of time for today's stream. No one can. I guess we. Did that Snallygaster leave? I guess it left. Oh, what is this? 75 Thunder. Camp Venture. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I know that this is part of the primary quest. But let's go ahead and summon the, the cargo to complete the quest, I guess. And then we'll save exploring camp venture for later because I know that's part of a uh, l later in the quest. <gasps> cargo bot supply drop. Quest confirmation received. Cargo bot en route to current location. God. Upcoming deliveries. This week's upcoming deliveries send any new requests to Eddie. Ten gallons of purified water, five units of stim packs, two cases of antiseptics, two unit bandages, five cases of general rations. Huh. Notice dangerous tech.
What was that attached signal booster thing? Did you see that? For a minute I was able to attach a signal booster? Oh! Whoa! Signal booster removed. There it goes. Distress beacon found. Looks like I have to tune into a distress beacon. Okay, well to do that I need to turn my radio volume back up. Well, four directions to choose from, north, south, east, or west. Let's try southwest first. All right, be right there. Oh, and I gotta go way over here. Holy cow. I am far away. Let's go to Rally Clay's bunker. Getting closer. Did you ever level up when you hit 45? I think I did. I'm not going in exactly the right direction. I'm vaguely going in the right direction. Haven Church. Well, no, if it's if, if it was in there, it would be bigger. Yeah, we have to go past it. 46, I mean. Oh, I've passed something. Am I level 46 now? Oh, I'm getting away from it now. Is it really in here? There we go. that piping noise coming from? Where's that piping noise coming from? Four, oh. Oh. On flip. Okay. I'll let it pass. There we go. I'm getting close. Yeah, 
Here we go. No, these are feral ghouls. No, now it's going down. There we go, got it. Stimpak and Randy's Solitude. Where is that doggone eyebot? Ah! <laughs> is it attached to radio? Nope. Randy Solotape. Hey, Ella. It's Randy here. I'm, I'm pretty sure I, I'm done for on account of my, my leg being blown off. I wanted you to know you were right. We tracked them ghouls to Haven, and Christ Almighty, they were talking and, and, and hollering sure as you and me. I mean, we all heard them stories about talking ghouls. I just never thought I'd bear witness to them, and I ain't the only one. Kendall knew it, sure as I did. But Duncan, Duncan, he wouldn't let up. He didn't care they were begging to be left alone, but I did. If them creatures still got the mind God gave them, then who are we to take that away? Well, we found him. Investigate the area. Well, hopefully he didn't get killed by ferals because he was such a nice guy. Nary Samir, Dire Chemical. There's the... There's the chemical ID card. It was on Neri and Neri's holotape. Lucy just told us she thinks she found the perfect hideout in some sewers under Dire Camp. Yep, you heard that right. Sewers. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that's a step down from just plain old swamp. But at this point, if they keep Sarah safe, how bad can it be? Either way, the radiation through the roof. So Lucy managed to get her hands on some crazy prototype hazmat suit for me. And I get a snazzy ID card now to get inside. So here's hoping I don't lose it. Prototype hazmat suit. Enter the dire chemical sewers. Man, everything's coming together. Okay, let's see. The prototype hazmat suit prevents damage and disease. How is this different from the one I'm wearing? It's exactly the same. Let's see what it looks like. So for reference, that's the one I've got. Let's put on the prototype. Uh, it's got a, it's a little different. All right, enter Dire Chemical. Well, now we finally get to find out what's under Dire Chemical. But, <clears throat> uh, sad to say, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I'm gonna have to end the broadcast because it's dinner time. So uh, we streamed longer than I thought I would, but I had a great time. We got a lot of the main quests done and we're gonna go explore Dire Chemical, finish this side quest, and then continue with our main Free States quest when I pick up, uh, not on Thursday, likely Saturday, because Thursday is Thanksgiving. So we'll pick up on Saturday. But remember, new lore video tomorrow, Scotch and Smoke Rings live stream on Thursday, unless I have to uh, cancel it. And then we've got a new lore video on Saturday, uh, Friday, and then another one on Sunday. So lots of good stuff coming up. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys have a, a wonderful rest of your evening, and I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, with a brand new video.